Hey, and welcome to this video. It's not going to be a fully comprehensive tutorial on texel density, but you should have a good enough understanding of what it is and why you need to consider texel density as you lay out your UV tiles. Texel is broken down into tex for texture and L for element. So it's a textured element and is the fundamental unit of texture space. Get it? Maybe? No? Okay, so digital images are composed of dots arranged on a grid. Each of these little dots are called a pixel. A texel is like a container that can hold multiple pixels. The more pixels within the container, the more resolution. A good way to explain this, in a texture map, so the saved PNG file for example, the smallest unit is just one pixel. However, when you're UV unwrapping, the smallest unit is whatever you want it to be as you can always tile these maps. So at a basic level, what we really care about is getting the highest and most consistent texel density when we unwrap our models, which means getting all our UV shells as large as possible to contain as many pixels as possible without them becoming inconsistent across our mesh. Take these renders for example. These renders are the same model and have the same UV unwrapping. What changes here is the scale of the shells, i.e. the texel density. You can see that even though the texture maps are the same resolution, how much of a difference there is. This is because the render with the smaller shells in the 0 to 1 texture space don't contain as many pixels, which equates to a lower resolution, even though the map is technically the same 4K resolution, which is why it's important to try and get these shells as large as possible. So now let's go over why do you want a consistent texel density. In this demonstration, see how the stamp is nice and crisp on this fish, opposed to when I go ahead and try and stamp it onto this other fish. See how blurry it is? Let's just have a little look at the UVs. See how for one of the fish, the shell is much larger than the other one, which is why that stamp appears to be sharper, because there's more pixel resolution allocated to that UV shell, i.e. it has a higher texel density. Having meshes with inconsistent texel density can be awkward to texture and very noticeable at render time. That being said, it doesn't mean that you can't have different texel densities across one asset. Sometimes it can be useful when trying to be more efficient, but as a general rule of thumb, consistency is key across assets and environments. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.